Well, the most amazing things about the Brahms double is it's one of uh, Brahms's rare times that he has the the shortest tutti or the, the orchestral section. The introduction is only four bars, and luckily I don't have to begin the piece. It's Carter Bray who, in this case, playing the cello, will uh, begin the piece after the, after the fourth bar. He has a huge cadenza. I guess Brahms never wrote a, a cello concerto, so he felt it was indebted to some cellist that he, he write a concerto, but he threw in the violin. Uh, not as an afterthought, because it is an extremely important uh, part for the violin, as, as you will hear. But uh, the fact that he has the first cadenza all by himself after four bars of a very big uh, sounding introduction, very orchestral, very symphonic, um, and then he's all alone with chords and rhapsodic and cadenza-like. And then I come in after a short four-bar interlude after he's finished with my cadenza. The cadenza doesn't last as long as, as the Carter's will last, but it's a dialogue. That's the beginning of the dialogue between the two instruments, which is running through the whole piece. Uh, significant about the uh, second movement, the slow movement, is that uh, we, we play in unison, one octave apart, for most of the introduction to that, for the solo introduction, and uh, which is very unusual writing. I mean, one has to be on their toes because, you know, playing one octave apart uh, is extremely difficult for intonation. But I think the most exciting thing about this piece is that it's just Brahms at the top of his, uh, at his uh, greatest, you know, basically it's one of his later middle works. Um, he knows how to write a dialogue between two instruments. He really never had done that before. Uh, it's an extremely hard medium to write for, cello and violin, to give everybody equal, equal time, and he's managed to do it, and in such a beautiful way. It's this, I believe the second movement has been used uh, the Brahms, second movement of the Brahms double was used as a lead-in for one of the soap operas that uh, people watch in the afternoon. The last movement of the Brahms double is, is a wonderful scherzando, uh, starting again with the cello. He seems to favor the cello to start with the statement, uh, to make the, for the initial statement, uh, except for the second movement. But then the violin takes over in a very much higher register, of course. And then the dialogue, it's just like he states something, I state it, or I answer him. It's a constant dialogue between the two instruments and uh, masterfully done by Brahms and hopefully well done by us. <laughs>